Today we're looking into Batman Urban Legends number one. But we're only going to focus on the short story with Grifter called The Long Con Part 1, written by Matthew Rosenberg, with art by Ryan Benjamin. Lynch and Team Six are pinned down by Mr. Freeze and his henchmen. Feeling overrun, Lynch decides to call the team back. But a young Cole Cash decides to prove himself by covering the rest of the team. It does not work out the way that he planned. As the smoke clears, Cole's brother is trying to wake him up as he looks to the sky. Cole's brother rejoices as the superheroes have arrived. But Cole is in no condition to enjoy the spectacle. It's modern day and Grifter's working security at a fancy event. As a helicopter brings yet another guest, Grifter prepares to find out if they're friend or foe. Grifter's got someone talking into his earpiece, trying to help him determine if this is a threat or not. But the fact that they're reaching for their guns clues Grifter in before any help can be given. Just as the fight is ending, Grifter trips up with one more goon. Or at least who he perceives to be a goon. That is, until his boss, Lucius Fox, informs Grifter that is one of the VIP guests of the night. Later that evening, as Lucius and Cole discuss the events of the day, Lucius decides to give Grifter the evening off. But little does Grifter know that he will not be spending the evening alone. At first, it appears as if Grifter is legitimately going to take the night off. But, being one to never let his life get boring, Grifter is actually there to meet someone. And after a quick pat down that yields some interesting discoveries, we finally see who Grifter is here to meet. It's Gotham's very own The Penguin, along with Nora Freeze. And during their conversation, when The Penguin mentions the name Marlowe, Things get a little bit heated. Lucky for Grifter, things don't stay heated for long, and he's actually able to leave. But his luck is about to run out as someone is following him. Grifter sees that it's the Batman, and he notices that the Batman is uncharacteristically leaving himself open by walking through the alley. But Grifter doesn't waste any time trying to figure out Batman's strategy. But Batman also doesn't waste any time getting their rematch started. Batman tries to get some information out of Grifter. But quickly realizes that won't be so easy. Batman interrogates Grifter about his meeting with the Penguin and also brings up Halo again. But once Batman realizes Grifter's not going to cooperate, he simply swings off into the night. The next day after a meeting with Lucius, Grifter swipes a security card from a guard, and then proceeds to gain access to a restricted area. And when the person who was talking into Grifter's earpiece earlier comes back online, Grifter lets them know he thinks Lucius is onto him. That night in Gotham, Batman meets up with Nightwing at a crime scene where they find Nora Freeze is the victim, and Batman mentions that Grifter is the prime suspect.
And there you have part one to the grifter story in Batman Urban Legends. There's a lot to unpack with this issue, but I really don't like to do long analysis here at the end, especially if the video is going kind of long. So here's what I did see. First up, apart from the classic Team 7 in the old Wildstorm universe, we also got a Team 7 in the new 52. So I don't know if the creative team chose Team 6 for this issue, because this team already exists, but I guess we'll find out. First up, I grabbed this picture of the classic Team 7 eye chart, as they called it, which shows some of the characters mentioned, like Deathblow, Lynch, Slayton, and Grifter was called Deadeye, and apparently his brother was called Grifter in this world, so I'm assuming that's Max Cash, as he was called in the old Wallstorm universe. They also mentioned the name Carver, which makes me think of Holden Carver from the old Sleeper series, but he had no association with Team 7 but we'll see if they added him in in this world. And can I just say how much I love that it's Wildstorm alumni artist Ryan Benjamin doing the art for this story, since he's been drawing Grifter since way back in 1995. So I just love that he got to draw this and Batman as well, which are two of my favorite characters. So I'm glad that this is going to be five parts long. It feels like a mini series that would have existed on its own anyway with as much information as we got, but I don't want this video running too long. So again, if you like the video, hit like and be sure and subscribe because I'll be covering all the rest of these parts as well as some of the old Wildstorm stuff. Until then, we'll see you guys next time.